video is focused on graphs. So I will do many types of graphs today and a basic criteria on how to do those kind of graphs just from a given equation. So let's start with a very basic equation y equal to 2x plus 4. So if you see this, this is a variable, these two are the variables. This one is called the independent, independent variable and this one is the dependent one. Okay, and this one is the intercept, C-E-P-T, and this one is the parameter or the slope parameter. So this one is the basic criteria of a graph. So how to draw this? So there's a very basic idea. So you draw this. So 2A. So first you see the intercept. So intercept is plus. So you start here. So if it is minus, you start the graph here. You start the graph here. Okay. So uh, if you please focus on this area. So the lower segment and the upper segment, the lower segment and the upper segment both. Okay, so if it is like plus 4, it is like minus 4. This equation is y equal to 2x minus 4 and this may be y equal to 2x plus 4. So now if I draw the graph now, if I draw the graph, so 2x plus 4, so this 2 is positive. So the graph will be like this. If it is 2x minus 4, the graph will be like this. So y equal to 2x minus 4 and y equal to 2x plus 4. So these two graphs are done. First part done. Now if I give you a basic idea that if I change this to minus 2x minus 4 or minus 2x plus 4. So then it is like this and like this. So whenever it is plus is becoming minus the curve slopes down or the curve slopes up depends on this. This is the first criteria done. Okay. So if I give you an example on this that y equal to 7x minus 3. So how can you do that? So y equal to minus 3, so you start from this area and this is plus, so it will be upward. Now you're going to ask me, say the same graph, so if I have to draw 2x minus 3 as well, so will it be the same graph? Answer is no. The answer is, so if you have a 7x, if you have a 2x together, so the slope is different. So let me talk about only 2x and only 7x. Then we will add the intercept here. So only 2x, this one is a flatter one and this one is a steeper one. So how to do the flatter and steeper graph? How to do the flatter and steeper graph? So here, so remember that if 2, 7, this designs how flatter and steeper. So y equal to 10x, so that is steeper than all. So that is steeper than these three. That is steeper than these three. Okay. So this is the steepest, flat, flattest. Okay. So I will draw this graph. So if I draw the graph over here, so y equal to 10x is like this, 7x is like this, and 2x is like this. So if I write it like this, 2x, and this one is like 10x. So this one is a 10x graph. This one is a 7x graph. So fortunately, it is going to be. This is a 2 is graph. So now you know about the slope. But here every time I have taken the intercept as 0 and it's passing through to focus this in this area. So it's passing through region. So now if I take it to a relatively better graph. So if it is only y equal to 2x minus 4 and y equal to 4x, 2x plus 4, 4x plus 4. So the same diagram it can be drawn. So this plus 4 is fixed. So 1 is for 2x, 1 is for 4x. So this is y equal to 4x plus 4. This is steeper. And y equal to 2x plus 4. That will be flatter. So this basic part can be adjudged in this way. So now this is all about the linear graphs. So y equal to only 4. So here 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 4. So you just mark it like this. x equal to only 4. So you mark it like this. So that's it. So this point is 4, 4. So this is done with a graph, basic graph. Now if I give you a quadratic graph. So what do you mean by quadratic? Quadratic. That is y equal to x squared. So if that thing happens, remember that if it is y equal to x cubed, y equal to x4, y equal to x5, in that way if the powers are keep on increasing. So remember that y equal to x squared graph somewhere like this or this. Okay. 
So remember always our graph structure is depends on this. If the power is 2, so number of bending points, bending is equal to 2 minus 1, that is 1. If the 3 it is 3 minus 1, that is 2, it is 4 minus 1, that is 3. These are the bending points. So a normal cubic curve, for example, if I give you y equal to x cube minus 3x, so this one will look like this. I will come to this kind of graphs very soon. Okay, now uh, let me uh, solve the only y equal to x square. I am not taking the intercept. So y equal to x square look like what? So 1, first of all this graph passes to origin because if you put x equal to 0, y equal to 0. Okay, so y equal to x square look like this. So y equal to minus x square if I take. So this is equal to y equal to minus x square. That's it. So this one equal to this curve if we take, so this one will be y square equal to x and this will be look like a butterfly here, we call it a butterfly diagram as well. So y square equal to minus x. So this is the total butterfly formation. So these four graphs, only remember that all passes through a common point that we call origin. So let's go on to the next segment of the graph structure that how to know whether a graph is upward sloping, down sloping, non-KF convex. So there is a thing called slope and there is another thing called curvature. So slope and curvature are not the same thing. Slope is done by the first order derivative which is dy dx and this is adjusted by the second order derivative. So curvature and slope is upward sloping or down sloping. If the well, this is greater than 0 or less than 0 then positive and negativity actually tells you the story of upper sloping and down sloping graphs. But in case of curvature, we have two kinds of curvature that is called vex and concave. Okay, so if a graph is convex to the origin or concave to the origin, you can say it by the second order whether it is positive or negative. Okay, that's it. This is the basic idea. Now, how to know whether a graph is concave or convex? So if I draw the graph. If the graph is like this, maybe your school or college professor told you that it looked like a cave, so it's convex, and it doesn't look like a cave, so it's convex, or nothing like that. So simple is, if you take a graph, and you just join any two points on the graph, any two points, I'm taking the above graph, and if you join the drawing, and if, please note it down in your copy if you have it, okay, that is, if the line, if the line, remember the line, if the line with respect to the graph is to the above or right. If the line with respect to the graph is above, here the line is to the right and somehow it is above as well. So then it is obviously called convex graph. That's it. It doesn't matter how the graph looks like or where is the position. So even if the position, here if I take it, so the it is to the left or below, so it will has to be the on K1 okay and the opposite part if the line is to the below or left then it is con cave that's it the second order condition greater than zero for one this one and less than zero for this one so this is the way of doing the concavity and convexity of a graph. In the fourth coming video, I will be discussing about the bigger graphs as well, but always remember the basic structure is dependent on three things. First, you see the equation. Second, you see the intercept. Equation is like 2x plus 3 or 2x squared plus 4. Then this intercept. And the third thing is this power. So that's it. And I will also come with a modulus graph, how the chain, how the shift, all these things will be done. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.